Hi, everyone. Welcome to April's version of the Reading Research Recap. It's been getting really hard to pick studies to feature in this deep dive segment because there's been so many great studies coming out. In fact, I've been in contact with three different research groups, and I really hope to cover their papers and their work in the next few months here. But I had to bump up this paper in the queue. Why? Well, it was a very rigorous study. So it was a randomized control trial, a longitudinal, so multi-year trial on reading comprehension. And reading comprehension effects are very, or outcome measures are very hard to come by in research studies. And this one, the Too Long Didn't Watch, found great effects for vocabulary, grade three science, reading achievement, and mathematics achievement. And those last two effects actually lasted up to a year later after the intervention had stopped. And there's one more thing I wanna point out. So this study found evidence of FAR transfer. So why is that important? Well, let's get into a little bit of background on FAR transfer. We know that building background knowledge is really important, but the impetus for this study was that one of the lead authors, Dr. James Kim, felt that the existing programs weren't likely to lead to measurable transfer and FAR transfer in particular. So why is FAR transfer so important? Well, first, let me give you um, a definition of what it means. So FAR transfer is the student's ability to take what they've learned in a specific context, unit, or lesson, maybe around a specific set of texts, and apply it at a later time point in a novel or new context. So can they take what they've learned about maybe text structure in one lesson here and then apply that knowledge later when they see a passage on maybe a standardized reading comprehension test? So FAR transfer is very elusive. It's hard to come by. It's kind of like the holy grail of reading comprehension research studies. And that's what makes this study so intriguing because they found measures of FAR transfer. 30 different schools were randomized to the two conditions. In the first condition, students received the full spiral curriculum grades one through three. In the um, baseline or control condition, they only received it in grade three. And the curriculum focused on fostering schema awareness, gradually introducing complex topics, developing academic vocabulary networks, and promoting FAR transfer. Okay, there is one more notable difference between the treatment and the control condition. So the students that received the full more intervention, the treatment condition, were exposed to texts that had richer oral language. So more complex, rich oral language as measured by Lexiles. And if you don't know, so there's a bit of a shameless plug here because this blog is owned and produced by Metametrics, the creators of the Lexile framework for reading. And I don't ever go out of my way to find um, research studies that use Lexiles, but it's always really nice when you see it in a study like this. Given the positive results across these four different student outcomes or measures, the classroom implications are pretty clear. The more intervention is very effective. Given the really impressive results they found in this study, I reached out to the researchers to see if they had plans to scale it up so that teachers and schools across the country could have access to this incredible curriculum. And yes, the short answer is yes, they do have plans to scale it up. The longer answer, you're gonna to have to head over to the written blog to see their quotes on what they said about scaling up, as well as some links to um, more research sorry, excuse me, more resources on the more intervention. All right, that's all that I have for April, and I will see everyone in May.